Welcome to the Buffalo River Grand Fondo. This is a race in Virginia. It is gravel, gravel Grand Fondo. Kind of cool. They started out with a dude blowing, uh, I guess, a buffalo horn. It was pretty neat. We start in a grass field. They've changed the start this year, but I think it was actually in a pretty good spot. Plenty of parking, pretty easy to get to. Um, start up this little gravel road. You can see plenty of different guys riding. This is Caleb, one of my teammates from Velocious Sport, now on Team Winston Salem for the year. But here is the route. So you start out, a lot of pavement, and then you hit some gravel for the first climb, which Ben had the KOM on. He did like a lot of power for this climb. I think the time was like 50 minutes ish 45 minutes for the whole climb um on strava but the actual segment was a little bit closer to 35 which i didn't know when we started out but you keep going on there are a total of four segments one is uphill middle one's rolly the third one is also a little uphill and then the fourth one is like a downhill paved segment but we are getting real close to that first segment. Eric has attacked up the road. He's pretty far up there. We're just starting the first segment. I'm hitting the button on my Magine head unit, which is new. We're with a little group of four here. There's Jack Perry, pausing next to a mushroom, and Sierra Sims, who is with us as well. She's pretty strong, and so is Jack. And we are going to get the best time we can up this climb. I want to win it. The overall win of this is a Buffalo Skull, which is pretty cool. I ended up getting a 34-minute Jack, Mr. Quint, on Shava. Got around 35. Eric, third, like 36. And then Sierra won the women's. We started doing the descent after. I like these Gravel Grand Fondo events because you don't have to race down descents which these descents in particular are pretty chunky so you just kind of chill down them go your own pace I was going pretty slow which felt nice it was getting a little chilly apparently the years before it had been quite chilly you can see Sierra there on the right her and Eric had brought jackets which was smart and then Jack and I had not but I think it ended up all right um, Jack was sending descents pretty hard the whole day on his specialized crux with rim brakes, which is pretty cool. I'm on my Haro Buzzard, but we are approaching segment number two here, which is mostly gravel, very rolly gravel, some slight downhills, and this is a Grand Fondo, and it is not an A-race for me. So I am chilling on the downhills and going pretty hard on the uphills. Right here, I am hitting it quite hard on the uphills and I ended up dropping Jack just on the uphill part but he came in second around a minute behind me Sierra won the women's segment that was an excellent quote she just said she said thanks for riding the gra best gravel roads in Virginia bitches had a fun little <laughs> exchange so after that one pretty good aid stations at most of these we stopped after the third segment, which was uphill, did not get good footage, but I won with a time of 9.30, Sierra with 11.30, and then Jack, 10.35, and Eric was 10.40ish. Um, so it's pretty tight for a second. We did this descent after, getting a little rowdy on it. It was a pretty chunky descent, and we're going into the final segment here, Stopped at another aid station. It was nice to be able to stop at all the aid stations in a gravel race. Go figure. No camelback. Got to grab Oreos or snacks or whatever. Got these beautiful views. Riding. Not racing in between the segments. I feel like there should be more gravel Grand Fondos. It's pretty good for whatever the spirit of gravel is. I enjoyed it. A little more relaxed to sign up. It's not a race the whole time. It accepts that the roads are always going to be open. More gravel Grand Fondos, please. But 
we're transitioning off of that. This is the final segment. It's on pavement. Sierra's opening it up, kind of going downhill. Eric pulls through right behind her, and we're going pretty fast. It's paved. It's like a seven-minute segment. It's pretty quick. I'm tucking in, and people are starting to fall off the back of our little pace line here. Caleb notices that, and so he starts a little sprint, and nobody else really wants anything to do with it except for me. So I stayed seated, jumped onto his wheel, and he just kept sprinting. I thought we were getting close to the end, but I didn't see an end in sight, and so I just tucked in, started hitting it pretty hard. He ended up falling off my wheel a little bit after his sprint. You can see there's actually like a crack in the lens cover right there of my Insta360. Kind of a bummer. Toss the lens covers, but that is what they're for. Segment four, I actually ended up getting the KOM just under eight minutes. And Jack was 827. Um, Sierra won that segment in the women's too. So she's winning the women's and I won the men's. The finish was really cool. We came back through the campsite, whatever it was that we were starting at. There was like this little maintenance road type thing going on over here. There was a nice pond that you got to see the finish at. And then you rolled through like a freshly mowed grass thing. You're not racing, so you don't have to go super fast on it, but kind of a cool little ride through the park campsite thing. And then uh, we all had a nice little meal after. They had vegan burgers. They had normal burgers. They had nice potatoes from uh, one of the local restaurant owners. And got my buffalo skull, which was pretty cool. Buffalo skull. One of the coolest prizes I've ever won at a race. But also got to use my new head unit, which was a Magin. I really like this thing. It's much better than many of the ones I've used before. Good touchscreen and all of that. Fun sounds. Thanks to Magine for sending this out to me and to uh, Buffalo River Grand Fondo for having us out. Thanks for watching. See ya.